Hey everybody, what's up? It's Phoenix, and today I'm coming to you with a video vlogging what chem labs in the Gen Chem 1 and Gen Chem 2 courses this year looked like. Obviously, they were kind of different because of COVID, so we figured it might be kind of useful or interesting for you guys to see what they changed and how they changed it. I'll put timestamps down below for the important information like how grading worked and stuff like that, but um, other than that, I'll just let you get right to the video. So today we're doing the acid-base titration lab. We basically had to chop this cabbage up. Lita's gonna get some water. Lita, go ahead. It's fine. It's, it isn't live. I know, but I it don't is. Want it it's to a live. Okay, Lita, say hi then. No. Hi. <laughs> the viewers wanna see me, mm -hmm. and that's just a fact. Okay. We had to chop this cabbage up and then leave it and let it sit for three hours, then take the liquid out. Cabbage yeah, we need that. We need some baking soda, vinegar. some vinegar, 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 and a spoon and a rag, but we don't have the rag because- okay. Where are the rags? They're dirty because of Friday. So why aren't they clean? It's Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Nobody's taken it upon themselves to clean it yet. Okay, we're gonna move on with this lab now. Part one, hands-on activity. We have to. This is when it took Lee and I literally 20 minutes to figure out how to actually do the lab, so that's what this is. It does smell really bad. Yours smells bad too. Did you? I mean, did you smell it? <laughs> you smell bad too. Wanna smell it? No. It's really bad. Don't do it. Combine 5 milliliters of vinegar with 15 milliliters. Is this the indicator switch? <laughs> So the point of this lab is to do an at-home titration. We're using vinegar as our acid and a dilution of baking soda as our base. So we're basically gonna start with a sample of vinegar in a beaker and we're adding a unknown amount of base into it and then seeing when it gets to its equivalence point by comparing the color of that solution to our prepared solution that's already at its equivalence point. I'm gonna pour it in this here. three times. If you mess up, you have to do it more, so it's not mess up. Okay, ready? 520. That's not red. red. Changed color. So just then we made one of our prepared solutions, and now we're going to make our dilution of baking soda. Sodium baking bicarbonate? Soda? In here, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> So here we're just preparing our vinegar sample and adding some pH indicator for the color change. Can I have the phone, please? What was the last thing in here? I don't care. Um, okay. So what's the neutral one with water? Um, yes. Here we're observing the chunks of cabbage left in our cabbage juice. Oh, it's fine. There's chunks in it. Okay, wait, I should close the caps of things. So here it seems like we've started our titration, but we haven't made our equivalence point prepared solution yet, so that's gonna come soon. Just wait for it. Okay, it's kind of changing, right? Okay, wait. Here's the moment of realization. We should have done we should have done the comparison number two so we can I mean still do it. Here we're preparing our equivalence point prepared solution. This is when our roommate Ray was having a conversation with her mom and um, it got pretty heated so we could hear it in the kitchen and I don't know why it took Leah and I so long to realize what was happening but I guess it's because we were so concentrated on chemistry. Okay. You could use... Here. Just use this. No, it's good. Yeah? Yeah. The first line. Okay. He's not there yet. Okay. I'm glad we did this though. Okay, wait. Show it there. <laughs> Just hold it beside it so we know. Okay, cool. I feel I feel a lot better now that we did that. Okay, wait, don't put too much in. No, I feel like a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah. 
I said, Joe. Look at it in the screen. It needs a little bit more, right? Just a little bit. Just a little bit, yeah, right? Yeah, so I can drop it too. We have to do this three times. Yeah. That's great. Okay. We did not need this much cabbage juice. Oh, that's a lot. I know. But th that's how much she told us to make. Yeah. I guess it's like if you just royally mess up. Here, we're just preparing our next two trials. Oh, amazing. Wow. Look at us. <laughs> okay, ready? Yeah. Ready? This is going to be really cool. Ready? Whoa. Science. Okay. This is called not cheating, but cheating a little bit. So by this point, we're done our three trials, just ironing out our data. When I say cheating, I don't mean cheating. I just mean making sure that our data is right and adjusting the numbers if necessary. But for this lab, we didn't need to. But it's fine. And that's the end of our lab, I guess. Now we're just gonna wash everything and then come back to you when we're doing our quiz and assignment. Okay, just kidding. Leah and I are back. We're gonna put fun things into that so that we can put in this one. So that we can see it change color. You can join us. I'm gonna go get the milk and make it. So here we weren't kidding. Leah and I are literally taking things of various pHs and putting it into our pH indicator to see what it gives. Get excited. Yeah, get excited. This is gonna be very acidic. So this is a starting one. Ready? It smells like lemon. Really? Okay, I'm gonna swirl it. Oh, you can already see it changing. Oh, oh that's a horrible Whoa. spoon job. It's like ombre. It is like ombre. It's so bright. It is bright. So just to reiterate, this has absolutely nothing to do with the lab, but this is just Leah and I having fun with science. Why is nothing coming out? Oh, <laughs> so much. <laughs> Ew, look at it. <laughs> Ew. Okay, wait, take the spoon and stir. Oh, look, it's changing color. Oh, can you see the blue? <gasps> Whoa. <laughs> wow. That was cool. That was cool. Okay, bleach now. Now it'll be like clear, but probably blue. Different. this or this this is more basic okay so we're making a peach scale mm, very neutral yeah but i think this is neutral i'm pretty sure it's like yeah. six or seven it makes sense yeah because we drink it okay cool i'm not middle. disappointed but it looks pretty it does look pretty now we're using vegetable juice, which has very low acidity. Um, also, just for reference, the redder it gets, the more acidic it's supposed to be, and the closer it gets to blue and green and yellow slash clear, the more basic it's supposed to be. Oh, that smells like tomatoes. It does. Oh, it's quite red. See. I think it also has to do with the fact that this is red. Yeah, yeah. But we're gonna make a rainbow. Do I turn blue? Oh, it's so pretty. Okay. Oh my god, it's so pretty! <laughs> I like that one. I like that one too. <laughs> So full disclosure, this is when our video gets a little bit more chaotic because this is when we start to involve our roommates who have a very strong background in the sciences, as you will be able to tell soon. What is your pH scale? Yeah, look at our pH scale. So at this point in Leah and I's pH scale, we're just looking for other substances to round out the scale. So as Ray tells us the story of the conversation between her and her mom, you can see our eyes scanning to see what next substance we're going to use. So pretty. It is pretty. Can I drink it? No. no, no. Don't <laughs> do that. Oh, I'm in the video. I'm 
like blah blah she's she's a terrible passenger also just she has a car oh, yeah, trauma yeah, okay. and she'll be like this next to me and I'm turning I'm like you have to chill she's letting my brother drive to the end of the road to the golf course in the car and he just got his G1 and it's winter well, and she wouldn't let me good. and it what doesn't seem like a big deal but it is Willem's gonna be like 10 and she's like here take the car out just drive up north it doesn't matter we, it's just we, frustrating we heard you <laughs> Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, I'm not gonna yell. I was like, I need to. Mm. Apparently, he's possibly dating someone. Really? I know. Yeah. That's what that was my reaction. It is purple. Really? More. Just like, like dating? Um, I don't think they're like dating. Dating? Are they wheeling? This is our pH scale. Look how cute it is. This is your vlog would hear me yell. This is our yeah. They did. <laughs> Okay, this is our pH scale. Guess where the acidic one is, Leah, guess. That, one. that one's the acidic one, where's the basic one? That one. Get ready for, okay, vegetable juice. It's not that acidic, but it's red because the, it's actually red. <laughs> <laughs> this one's vinegar. Yeah. This is lemon juice. This is uh, vodka. Alcohol. <laughs> this is milk. That's sodium bicarbonate in water. That's right. That's milk of magnesia. Ma milk of magnesia. Mag magnesia. Whoa. Um, and that's bleach. That's bleach. And we this, didn't expect that one. This is how it started out. That's right. All from there. Yeah. Look at us. Cabbage juice. Cabbage juice. Which one do you think the acid is in the base? I don't do science. <laughs> I know, but this you one did. is more acidic. Wow. wow. Look at you. Look at this one. This one's bleach. We are, we are very, um, and started out which one's more acidic? like, Finish what's down. it called? The goo little kids like to play with? Slime, we actually yeah. have some of that in our yeah. lab kit. Oh, because kids. we made slime. We had to make slime for our chem lab last semester. Please. Question, what was everybody's favorite lab from last semester? Oh, I like the molecule lab. Yeah, the molecule one. We had to I put liked, gummy oh, bears together no, I like the with gummy toothpicks. Bear one. I also like the gummy bear one. And then we also had the raspberry, the juice one. The juice. Oh, Leah really liked the juice one. Leah no, did. Yeah, yeah. I like the juice one because we got some <laughs> cranberry juice. <laughs> that one was fun. The slime one was fun. We liked the slime one. Yeah. What that else? Fully optional. We did not do the one that we were supposed to. Do. <laughs> no, we didn't. It's fine. Anyways, yeah. Okay, so for labs this year, every other week you'd have a tutorial, and every second week you'd have your lab. So it'd kind of alternate like that. Tutorial attendance is mandatory, but for labs, it was optional. Um, for your lab section, you just show up, um, watch a YouTube video, and then they would, you'd ask your TA any questions you had, and that would be that. Um, for grading, the overall lab section is worth 20% of your overall grade, and there are 12 components of the lab section. You need to get over 55% out of 10 of the 12 lab components, and then you get 100% in that section. From there, there's kind of like a ranking. If you get like 9 out of 12 passed and 8 out of 12, I can kind of put that here. But So for every single lab, you will do the experiment, the post-lab quiz, and you'll submit your data sheet. The things that are optional, or not optional, but the things that will be there sometimes and sometimes not is an Excel assignment or a crowd mark assignment, which is basically either a written assignment or just like a numbers assignment. Um, and then sometimes they'll add in a simulation where they'll give you data for you to analyze. Oh, the lab kit costs around $100. They posted the links on Amazon for first semester, but for second semester, they had a way that you can get it through the school. I know Leah got some of hers at just like her local Walmart. I just ordered the Amazon links just because I wanted to make sure that everything was what they wanted us to get and stuff, but I'm sure whatever works, so. This is my lab kit. It came in this Amazon box. We have like 
these things, some tubing. For some reason, my tubing is a lot thinner than Leah's tubing, and I have a lot we, less. We had one lab that required that. Um, Why I, did they make this get so much? I don't know. TDS meter, a couple syringes, some graduated cylinders, and some beakers. Do a scale. Hey guys, thanks. This is my channel. Have fun.